Swayam Prabha. Digital India. Educated India. Welcome back. So today we will discuss I think you know one of the most important reaction mechanism and that is sigma bond metathesis. Of course related to that or subsequent to that we will be discussing 2 plus 2 reaction. So today's topic is going to be 4 center reaction mechanism also known as sigma bond metathesis and 2 plus 2 reaction. Let us look at that. So first we will discuss 4 center reactions. Well for 4 center reactions you need of course 4 centers right uh, uh, that is that is the beauty of it you have to have 4 centers what are they you have you can have a metal center let us say you have a attached a, a with it and you have x along with that you have y. Now this is the 4 centers 1, 2, the transition state that involves for these reactions are of course going to be the interaction among all these centers and the net result will be the exchange of partners. So now you have X with A and M with Y. So essentially what you have seen in this particular case is these two guys go together and the other two guys going together. So, this is a 4 center reaction also known as sigma bond metathesis. So, you have a organometallic intermediate which is crucial for these reactions anything you can take you cannot expect a 4 center reaction a organometallic intermediate with a substituent and an external substrate which can come and interact with the met organometallic intermediate therefore 4 centers can come together to give you the exchange of partners and effectively then you we, we are going to get a sigma bond metathesis 4 centered sigma bond metathesis reaction. Most importantly if you try to look back at these reactions again the very first thing one should note is there is no change in oxidation state, no change in oxidation state. oxidation state that is most important and of course there is no change in electron count count of the complex. So these are the two most important feature of this reaction that 4 center reactions usually are uh, under usually are undergoing absolutely no electron change or no electron count change at the metal center it is virtually the exchange of partners without having any trouble and without having much of a barrier right. It is a, it is a very very simple reaction okay. One partner was there just the partner exchange happened at the metal center and resulting or of course the organic compound also changes the partner. Now this is the sigma bond metathesis right. Now how, how are we going to know that sigma bond metathesis is going to be any different compared to the one or the more famous one or the more early one such as early known one such as oxidative addition and reductive elimination. Essentially if you have the oxidative addition and reductive elimination you can exactly get the same product. Now most important to understand how oxidative addition and reductive elimination sequence is different from sigma bond metathesis and in which particular case the sigma bond met metathesis is occurring oxidative addition reductive elimination is not occurring. Essentially they can give the same product oxidative addition plus reductive elimination can give you the same product exactly same product as that of your sigma bond metathesis. Let us look back at this alternate mechanism one time. So the alternate mechanism that is oxidative addition and uh, reductive elimination for the same product formation. So the alternate mechanism involves your 
in the mediate m a and x y as you are saying in that place these two are going together and this one was coming together. But if you imagine oxidative addition it is going to be all the way you know oxidative addition into this. So, overall you are going to get x and y and subsequently you are going to get reductive elimination to get m y and a x ok. Of course, electron count electron count for electron count if you have for this one it is going to be plus 2 oxidation state is going to be also plus 2. Also, if ok if possible if ok then oxidative addition plus reductive elimination are going to be more preferred than sigma bond metathesis and that is what is most important thing to understand that most often we see a sequence of oxidative addition and reductive elimination. Of course, both of them oxidative addition and reductive elimination and sigma bond metathesis can give you the uh, give you the exactly same compound and most often oxidative addition and reductive elimination is energetically favorable or, or um, the preferred pathway compared to sigma bond metathesis. But there are situations where oxidative addition and reductive elimination sequence is not likely and therefore, sigma bond metathesis is the only pathway. The same way we have seen alpha elimination versus alpha abstraction where alpha abstraction is only pathway only remaining pathway for the product formation and alpha elimination is ruled out then only we are going to get the alpha abstraction. Same is for beta elimination versus beta abstraction. We have seen beta abstraction is happening only if alpha elimination uh, is not going to happen due to electronic factor ok. Similarly, if oxidative addition and reductive elimination this combination is not going to happen because of certain electronic requirement we are going to get sigma bond metathesis. Let us try to take uh, one example of sigma bond metathesis. Of course, there are some example very well known famous examples are there. We will take just one example to discuss sigma bond metathesis and then we will try to of course, in that scenario we will try to discuss why oxidative addition is not favorable and therefore, that sequence of oxidative addition and reductive elimination is not going to happen ok. Now, example of 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 sigma bond metathesis. of example of sigma bond metathesis. Of course, that x y group we can have a number of x y groups such as bromine we can have the bond which can undergo the sigma bond metathesis and a series of things we can have and uh, you know this is for for four center sigma bond metathesis sigma bond metathesis we can have this all these different things uh, bromine as you can see bromine iodine silyl hydride hydrogen etc you, you can undergo sigma bond metathesis. Now, this is particularly important for D0 metal center particularly important for reaction of D0 metals. This is what one of the most important thing to remember. This is particularly important for D0 metal. For example, D0 metal center you have seen a lot. We will discuss one over here and with a stereo center let us say you have deuterium over there and this is a deuterium tick molecule and you have the zirconium alkyl species with two stereo center ok and you, you want to do a bromination reaction with this right. Now, if you want to do use bromine of course, this one one of them. So, these are the one which can undergo sigma bond metathesis readily. So, the product you are going to get is C P 2 zirconium bromo and chloro ok. The other uh, this is the one uh, which is this one and one of this one is going to be with zirconium and this center overall over here you can you can get a very good product formation and that where 
the bromine is coming and getting into the product. So, what you have seen so far here is you have two bromine centers, one bromine over here and another bromine is going, going over here. So, the exchange of alkyl group okay, with this one of the bromine is happening and then other bromine is coming with this alkyl group to give you the product. Of course, this is this is in this case particularly if you if you look at the example we tried to discuss with is a zirconium 4 plus, zirconium having 4 plus oxidation state, two cyclopentadiene ring is there and one alkyl group is there and one halide is there. Zirconium 4 plus it is a D0 metal center and therefore, it cannot undergo oxidative addition with bromine. Oxidative addition will require a plus 2 oxidation state from there on. Since it is already a D0 center, it cannot undergo oxidative addition. Therefore, if you see the product formation, in this particular case we have seen the exchange of partners, there is only one way left for this zirconium D0 metal center to uh, give this product and that is sigma bond metathesis not oxidative addition reductive elimination. So, what we see here is a specialized case, very special case with zirconium 4 D0 metal center and we have also seen that it is going to give you this sigma bond metathesis that we were discussing over here. So, this is the sigma bond metathesis reaction. Also another thing is more important to notice, uh, we, we have taken a center which is optically active. Well, if you look at the product formation, you will see the retention of configuration and that is another uh, you know strong take home message is for sigma bond metathesis reaction, it is a four centered reaction mechanism which undergoes a retention reaction with retention of configuration. If you look back at the product formation once again, the product formation in that organic fraction, this molecule is retaining the configuration. So, retention of configuration is one of the most you know preferred pathway or most um, important thing for the sigma bond metathesis reaction. There is no change in formal oxidation state of the metal. Of course, it is a D0 metal center, zirconium 4 plus, there is no formal change, oxidation change, state change of this metal center. Since this oxidation state change is not possible, therefore, oxidative addition and reductive elimination sequence is not likely in this case. Only option left once again is the sigma bond metathesis. Okay. But one must remember that oxidative addition and reductive elimination is a is combi combined this process is a preferred pathway almost always invariably you see such pathway oxidative addition and reductive elimination. Sigma bond metathesis is a is a is a is a, is a very <coughs> highly engineered pathway only only some few cases, but those are very important cases we can expect that sigma bond metathesis may happen. Okay. Now <coughs> What we next try to understand or we will under, try to understand is 2 plus 2 reaction, right. 2 plus 2 reaction actually one of the I think most important reaction, one of the most important reaction and it is rich the beauty and, uh, and, and the type of product formation, type of, type of flexibility it, it gives I think it is unparalleled and uh, it is loved by many and practiced by many. And it is one of the powerful techniques for even very complex, very, very complex molecule synthesis shows such as natural product synthesis and uh, natural product synthesis particularly these 2 plus 2 reactions are widely used, but it is important therefore for uh, organometallic chemists or people either doing organic, organometallic or inorganic side of organometallic. I think both the people should, both the areas of people should understand the sigma bond metathesis very simply and the mechanism underlying principle is, is, is really simple and that is what makes it so important. So, 2 plus 2 reactions. Next topic we are going to discuss is 2 plus 2 reactions.
course for 2 plus 2 reaction one could imagine that there is a necessity of having a pi bond in both the coupling partners right. Now one of the most common or very simple way of writing this example is, uh, is metal disc are being intermediate of course it needs an open coordination side for this reaction to happen and an olefin like this ok. Let us say for example you have this olefin it is very easy to track that is why we took this olefin. What first step would be your coordination you, you have to coordinate your two centers. So, you have 1 2 so 2 1 2 these are the two centers where 2 plus 2 reaction will undergo and you have this olefin over there. So, it is coordinating first is an open coordination site which is let us say it is happening. Now, next step is the actual this is the olefin binding then is the 2 plus 2 reaction where you see the intermediate is going to have your methyl, 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 methyl. So, overall you can get then the exchange of partners ok and then over here you will get this partner exchange gives gives you the product formation which looks like this. So, what we have seen over here it is a it is a 2 plus 2 reaction right and this 2 plus 2 reaction you have two olefinic centers so to speak one is metal carbene another is simple olefin. You have first interacted the olefin with the metal center and therefore, these two centers the is ready to undergo a 2 plus 2 reaction. You have a four member metal cycle intermediate wherein you have an opportunity to exchange the partner. So, the metal carbene partner the carbene part or the CH2 part in this particular case is now exchanged with the olefinic carbon center. So, one of the olefinic carbon center is now attached with the metal center after the 2 plus 2 reaction and the metal carbene centers carbon is associated with the olefin center. So, it is a perfect example of, of the uh, of the exchange of partners ok and uh, this is how actually a lot of transformations are done where you start with something and then let us say metal carbene intermediate and then, then you bring in another olefin another fragment olefin or even alkyne or other unsaturated part of the molecule and then simply you are able to swap the position you are able to exchange the carbon center and or unsaturation center and thereby giving rise to an wide variety of complex which perhaps could be unthink of by any other methodology and it has been popularized it has been industrialized it is one of the most preferred reaction I think people look at especially the natural product synthesis or the complex molecule synthesis people and the efficiency is quite good for this reaction and uh, this is one of the most famous reaction one, one can look at. Let us try to look at one of the example and few more features of the 2 plus 2 reaction. So, uh, in this case uh, if, if you see that uh, you know double bond sigma plus pi combined you are having 150 kcal per mole. Now, one of the example that I think uh, need to be discussed it is a very simple example let us say you start with a organic substrate like this ok. Now, beautiful reaction what you need to get is or what do you get by this process is this. So, if you are not familiar with sigma bond metathesis this seems very odd to you. How can you get this product starting from this product? But if you are familiar with sigma bond metathesis 2 plus 2 reaction I think it becomes obvious and it becomes so obvious that you know 
that e one can just look at it and tell that this is a sigma bond metathesis and this is what exactly would happen. For example, in this particular case, we are going to get uh, this molybdenum intermediate with with uh, with this uh, with this uh, two plus two. So what we are having here is this car this olefin and this partner undergoing two plus two reaction. Okay, so one two let's say three one two and three and this is molybdenum and this is molybdenum this carbon center this carbon center over here. So two and two. 2 plus 2 reaction gives you this intermediate where 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, this center is there and this carbon center over here is over here. So, you have 4 center organometallic intermediate or metallocycle intermediate which then can undergo retro 2 plus 2 okay, to give you out this part. So, this part will go out overall you will get this molybdenum carbene is now getting into the organic substrate directly. So, you have now molybdenum attached or inserted into the substrate itself and once you are able to insert that and that will be it. You should be able to get a very good uh, reaction subsequently to give you uh, a intermediate which will lead you to the final product formation and in this particular case as you will see this molybdenum again this is a 2 plus 2 reaction going on. So, first 2 plus 2 and then retro 2 plus 2 and then again 2 plus 2 this sequence of events happen to give you this intermediate which can then give you the final product. So, again it is under it will then undergo a retro 2 plus 2 where this part will be broken and double bond will be formed overall you have this retro 2 plus 2 again. So, what we have seen so far in this particular example, we have seen that you know sigma bond metathesis type of reaction. We have basically we have seen a 2 plus 2 reaction. We start with an olefin partner with organic substrate, there we have added a molybdenum carbene. Okay. This molybdenum carbene intermediate exchanges partner and molybdenum gets inserted into the into the organic part. So, 2 plus 2 and retro 2 plus 2 to get the molybdenum into the organic substrate, but the organic substrate once it is having molybdenum then the intramolecular olefin can participate into the 2 plus 2 to give you once again the 4 centered intermediate. So, 2 plus 2 followed by retro 2 plus 2 again 2 plus 2 to give you the intramolecular organic substrate based molybdenum 4 center intermediate. From there on it is very simple and straightforward pathway you get another retro 2 plus 2 to give you the overall the metathesis reaction so called ring closing metathesis reaction. In this particular case the example we have seen to give you the product uh, where you have the ring formation. Let us try to look at the example one more time and it is very simple. We start with a substrate which has two olefin in it, olefin in it. One of the molybdenum, this is the organometallic intermediate we take with a carbene intermediate. This two, uh, this olefinic center, this uh, carbene center interacts with one of the olefin center into the substrate to give you 2 plus 2 reaction. Now, this 2 plus 2 intermediate can undergo retro 2 plus 2 to exchange the partner. It was having carbon center over here. Now, it ends up having the molybdenum center. Once molybdenum is inserted into the organic substrate, of course, R is over there. Once molybdenum is inserted into the organic substrate, then they can undergo intramolecular 2 plus 2. This is 2 and this is 2, 2 plus 2 to give you a 4 center uh, reaction mechanism or 4 center intermediate that is a molybdenum the cycle intermediate, 4 center intermediate from there on you need to again exchange the partner. So, here molybdenum was attached with this carbon, now in the final product molybdenum will attach with the with the carbon over there. Essentially, it is forming back this compound, Okay, this, this from here it reverts back to this molybdenum compound and finally, the net result is what you get is ring closing metathesis reaction. Okay. 
this is a beautiful reaction of course during opening metathesis reaction and closing are are almost same. similar reaction in terms of mechanism but overall in this particular case what you see here is a ring closing metathesis happening by simple 2 plus 2 reaction so 2 plus 2 reactions are very popular reaction and it, it is widespread both in industry and academic setting and uh, the underlying principle as you have seen is is uh, nothing but it gives a miraculous product there are plenty of examples you can uh, and you can find in uh, all over the place you can read about any of it you can look at even the natural product synthesis by 2 plus 2 and the mechanism is no different it is the simplest of all and the product formation is I guess most beautiful of all that is why uh, that is why uh, this reaction has caught the imagination uh, of the scientific world chemist world and people are really utilizing this method quite efficiently. With this we would like to conclude today's session. So, today we have tried to discuss mainly four centered reaction mechanism and, and the sigma bond metathesis. We have taken one example each. Of course, you can go ahead and look at many more examples. The basic or the fundamental steps remains very simple and, and it, sh it should be straightforward to understand. If you have any queries, please get back to us and uh, till then for the next class, we will we'll discuss the you know ligand exchange reaction or ligand attack on an uh, on an organometallic intermediate. So, the nucleophile will attack from the outside and these are the very classic example of, of another uh, wide variety of reactions. Please uh, keep studying, we will we'll discuss further in the next class. Bye bye. Vayam Prabha, Digital India, Educated India.